Welcome to Double G Now Farms. Guys, this morning here, it's Monday morning. We had a shower last night, three tenths of rain. We're not going to pick corn this morning. We're going to let uh, sun shine a little bit here. We're going to go spray some CRP. The government wants us to spray it's just kind of some patches. Uh, I got the four wheeler here filled with water. I got to go get some chemical the elevator, and then we're going to go spray. I don't know what there is, uh, a couple acres maybe, uh, with the lawn to try to kill it. It's uh, three Celeste We tried to kill it once before we seeded the native grass and wildflowers and obviously we didn't get it all and it came back this summer and they want us to go hit it this fall and try to knock it down again. That's what we're going to do this morning. This afternoon we're going to cut corn. I am back in the grain cart. It is 12.45 so hopefully we will get done around 7 tonight. Uh, since we did get showers yesterday, um, it is really windy today and so hopefully it is dry enough that we can keep things rolling. Uh, Dad got his CRP sprayed this morning. Um, that took about three or four hours, so it took longer than expected. But I will let you guys know when we are getting close to the end. As soon as Dad sticks out his order like that, it is time to go dump. Look at that world record. Woohoo! Actually, it did weigh more than that, but I lost some on the way here because it is so full. It's only supposed to have 35,000, but we uh, filled it a little bit fuller. Boy, it looks like the deer have been having fun. Dad about hit that hole with the combine. Boy, wouldn't have that been YouTube worthy. Uh, Elsie is currently weaning. Um, us three oldest girls have our own little cow herd. And so I got to get this barn ready right behind me. Um, we're going to put the calves in there. We're actually going to show those calves at the fair. Um, our fair pigs were actually in this barn earlier this year, and they made a mess out of the barn like how all pigs do. And so I've got to get this barn ready for them. Uh, they dug a couple holes here that I got to fill in with some gravel. Uh, they did another one back here. I got to take care of their water, and then I got to take care of their feed trough. Uh, there's some panels there and posts I got to take care of. And then I got to scrape all this out. So I'll probably be at this for a while, so I might as well find a spot to set you guys up and get to work. Okay, so it's finally done. I got the straw pushed around. I got the hay feeder put in. I got the fence where it's supposed to be. got the water bowl. Anyway, so everything is done. Got the calves put in. I love that one's ears. So cute. Anyways, so yeah, that's just a little update. It is done now. So, I'm glad that's done. So dad is still combining soybeans. Um, I guess it's going pretty good, so we probably will be doing that uh, for the rest of the day. All I'll see is back out weaning again, and I think that's it. Hey everyone, so today is Wednesday now. The week is flying by way too fast. Uh, dad just got done filling up the planter with some rye, and Elsie is getting ready to go wean. So I will keep you guys posted. How's it going? Good, how are you? What do you have to say to all your YouTube fans? I don't have any YouTube fans. That was Jared Harder with Harsh Feed and Seed. They are a real nice family owned feed store and it is the best in Kansas. They will deliver to you if you order before 9. So make sure you order your feed before 9. And I will add the link to their website down in the description to so go check it out. combine. Go Sadie, go! Okay everyone, so we are back combining 
we didn't start until about 12 or so. Currently it is 4.15. Uh, it's went really good so far. Elsie is weaning today again. I think this is her last day weaning. I think they're about done weaning, which is really good. I'm really excited about that. Uh, yeah, we're back home riding soybeans, and today's going pretty good. Zayden's been running the combine. I'm back and running the grain cart, and Dad is hauling to one of our local elevators. And I think everything's going pretty good, so I'll keep you guys posted. And Zadie, I think, is filming some footage, so let's go over and see what she's up to. Okay, guys, so somehow I got stuck with the camera to record, so I'm supposed to give her a little bit of footage. Combine today. Okay, everyone, little update. I'm actually heading back to the farm. We are done for the night, but uh, there's some screw up with the combine. It's not feeding in right in the head, and so we are gonna have to quit tonight. We are almost out of the field, sadly, and hopefully, we can get the combine fixed tomorrow and get the field finished tomorrow. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay, everyone, so it is Thursday now, and we are back out in the field. We were doing yesterday, and um, we're finishing it up. We'll probably be done here in about 15 minutes or 20 minutes. We don't have very much left. Um, we didn't start until about 10, and now it is 12, so we'll be done here in 20 minutes. Um, everything's going pretty good. Elsie this afternoon has to go around and check all of her bean calves. I'll keep you guys posted. Our last strip of beans in this field. Okay, everyone, little update. It is 2 o'clock now. We are at the next field. Hopefully, we can get this field done today. I'm not so sure that we will be able to, but hopefully we can. Uh, Dad's already in the combine. I'm back and running the grain cart. Um, I'm not for sure, but I think Sadie's probably going to come take Dad's spot in the combine. Okay, everyone, sorry I did not film very much footage yesterday, but we did not get that field done. Dad went back this morning and finished combining it. Now we're combining the beans around our house, as you can see. And Dad is just opening up the field now. Once he gets the field opened up, then Sadie will start combining. Since we do not have very much going on today, this probably is a good spot to end the video. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.